Hi, sa mga viewers ng Kurt TV, more power po sa inyo. Una po sa lahat, gusto kong magpasalamat sa inyo. Uh, maraming salamat uh, for answering the call. Uh, alam niyo naman po ang um, crisis kung nasaan tayo ngayon. Uh, hindi na natin kailangan na uh, ulit-ulitin pa. Ano, alam ko po na uh, ito pong ginagawa nun bilang mga frontliners, bilang mga health workers. Hindi po madali. Uh, una sa lahat, uh, nanagay niyo yung sarili ninyo sa anganib. Uh, sinusugal ninyo ang inyong mga kalusugan. Uh, I-expose niyo ang mga sarili ninyo at mga katawan ninyo uh, potentially to this uh, virus. Uh, pangalawa, nakakatakot po siyempre dahil nga po dun sa uh, risk na tinitake po ninyo ay uh, na, nakakatakot po. At marami pong uh, marami pong health workers, maraming mga tao na ayaw po dahil nakakatakot nga. Pero kayo po nandito dahil isang uh, ang sinasabi niyo sa akin muna sa lahat ay kayo ay matatapang. Uh, hindi naman po mawawala yung takot. Kahit naman po ako o ang uh, mga staff po natin sa Children's Hospital, BCGH, sa ating City Health Office, sa ating DRMO, sa ating iba pang mga frontliners. Pati po yung mga, yung mga nadaan natin kanina, yung mga, yung mga street sweepers natin. Uh, lahat naman po tayo natatakot. Hindi naman wala pong mga kapagsabi siguro sa atin na 100% wala tayong takot. Pero... Kahit na meron po tayong uh, konting takot, ay nandito po tayo lahat. Nandito po kayo. Kaya maraming maraming salamat. Pwede po ba palakpakan yung mga sarili niyo? Uh, okay. On behalf of Pasig City, on behalf uh, ng lokal na pamahalaan ng Pasig, tauspuso po ako nagpapasalamat sa inyo. Uh, alam niyo naman po kung bakit kayo nandito. Again, alam po natin kung may krisis. Uh, yung enhanced community quarantine, yung quarantine po na ginagawa natin, opo, importante yun. Yes, we know it's important. Uh, we know that it's, it's valuable. We know that the quarantine has helped flatten the curve. But that's precisely the point of the quarantine. The quarantine alone will not uh, solve our problems. Uh, yes, it helped to flatten the curve kasi nakuwera na sa yung mga mamamayan natin na mag-social distancing, magbawas ng mga close contacts with each other. Pero ultimately, ang uh, kailangan, panakasin natin yung healthcare system natin. And one of the things na pag-usapan po namin, kasama si na Dr. Zagari, kasama ang city health office natin, yung dalawang hospital na, na run by the city of Pasig, uh, nung nagsisimula po tayo, nag-iisip po kami, paano natin palalakasin Kasi kaya nga natin na uh, lagi sinasabi yung flat and the para may extend siya, mababaan yung maximum capacity na kinakailangan from our healthcare systems. So, ibig sabihin, we're, by, we're, try, we're trying to buy ourselves time. This enhanced community quarantine, we're trying to buy ourselves time. And we have bought ourselves time. Ang talong, para sa lokal na pamahalan, para sa, uh, sa pamahalan pagkabuhan sa buong bansa. Ano? Uh, anong gagawin natin? Para natin tataasan yung kapasidad natin uh, dito sa PASIC, uh, specifically yung healthcare system natin, para natin patataasin yung kapasidad natin. And uh, we thought of several ways na tinitingnan natin lahat, you know, lahat ng aspeto, magmula sa detection, testing, contact tracing, surveillance, hanggang sa quarantine, uh, and then of course, yung, yung uh, treatment mismo sa mga hospital natin. Uh, in other words, strengthening the entire network. And uh, just very briefly, we want to mention two things na nakikita natin internationally. Ito rin yung dalawang bagay kung saan po talagang uh, mag, uh, ito yung epektibo dapat sa COVID-19 or sa coronavirus. Una yung testing. Uh, testing more, testing as many as we possibly can. And we've been trying our best to do that, uh, hindi tayo perfect, hindi pa natin nakamit yung level ng testing na gusto po talaga natin. Pero kahit paano, uh, siguro mas mataas po tayo sa ibang lokal na pamanag, sa ibang lugar. Uh, and we're very proud of that. And we're trying to increase this number even more. Pangalawa, uh, 
uh, yung centralized quarantine. Kasi tatlo pala, yung, yung pangalawa, yung uh, COVID reference center kung saan marami po sa inyo ay uh, naka-duty na. At baka yung iba pa ng dito, baka doon rin po kayo ma-assign eventually. Uh, dalawa po ang hospital ng Pasi. Meron din po tayong RNC which is DOH run. At uh, kaya po makalaga yun, uh, well, Dr. Sabari uh, would be better to explain everything and I'm sure she has explained to you. And siguro, uh, as healthcare professionals, alam nyo na rin na ganito bakit makalaga yung uh, pagtatalaga ng isang COVID referral center no, sa PASIC. Uh, we reduce the risk of cross-contamination, we're able to use our supplies more efficiently, uh, pati yung PPEs, Uh, malaki yung number na naibawas natin sa kinakailangan natin PPEs na pang araw-araw and other supplies and other, uh, and other resources including human resources. That's why we decided to dedicate the, the Pasig Children's Hospital as a COVID referral center. Uh, pero ang naging challenge sa amin and pati po dun sa pangatlo na babanggitin ko kung nasaan po tayo ngayon ang naging challenge po talaga ay yung kakulangan ng resources, hindi financial resources, kung hindi human resources. Doon po talaga ang challenge ngayon. Meron pong iba, uh, dahil na uh, masyadong kinakabahan, uh, yung iba hindi talaga kaya na. Uh, for, for whatever reasons, ano, some valid, some may be not as valid, uh, pero whatever the case may be, talagang nagkulang po kami sa tao. Uh, and uh, alam naman po natin, in any healthcare system, In any system, for that matter, the most important resource that we have are human resources. Um, so, I'm very, again, I'm very thankful for you because kung hindi po dahil sa inyo yung na nag-step up sa panahon ng krisis na ito, kung hindi po dahil sa inyo, kahit anong ganda ng plano natin, wala pong mangyayari. Uh, yung COVID referral center natin and yung third, which is this uh, quarantine facility, Uh, we have an existing quarantine facility, actually many quarantine facilities around Pasig, pero nakikita po natin na kulang. And again, looking internationally, looking at best practices in other LGUs, uh, nakikita po natin na mas epektibo talaga yung centralized quarantine. Pero again, centralized quarantine, we know that this is the most effective uh, way no, para hindi na, or at least mabawasan yung bilang ng mga naka-home quarantine, yung mga uh, PUIs natin, probable suspected cases, and their close contacts. As much as we can, we want to keep them all uh, safe and secure, not only for their own health, but for the health of the community. May mga kaso tayo na uh, supposed to be naka-home quarantine, pero pag pumunta, mag-deliver tayo ng pagkain, ay kita, lumalabas ng bahay, uh, tumatambay sa sa kalsada. Uh, o sa labas ng bahay mismo, ay well, doon lang doon umiikot sila. Umibisita pa sa mga kapit bahay. Uh, minsan yung kapit bahay, hindi naman aware. O kaya, aware, pero wala, wala silang mutuwa. Yung ganun yung nangyayari. So, the centralized quarantine facility, uh, this will really save lives. At yung gagawin, yung ginagawa na ninyo at gagawin pa ninyo para sa ating healthcare system dito sa Pasig. Whether ma-assign kayo sa ating COVID referral center, sa Pasig City Children's Hospital o dito po sa quarantine, centralized quarantine facility natin sa Rizal High School, uh, you will help save lives. And uh, in this time of crisis, kailangan po talaga lahat ay magtulungan. Whether you are a doctor, a nurse, uh, medtech, caregiver, o, o disaster risk reduction management staff, uh, mga PDU natin, And even the uh, mga kasama-sama na natin, pati yung mga magiging construction worker dito, yung magiging security, uh, lahat, ag admin staff, everyone needs to play their part. And we need to go beyond, above and beyond the call of duty. And there will be times that we, we might feel that we want to give up. There may be times that we just might want to go home and where, where it's safer, Uh, we, there will be times that we want to spend more time with our family. Uh, but, pero, basta kapit lang tayo, magtulungan lang po tayo, sigurado naman po, malalagpasan po natin ito. Pero kailangan magtulungan po tayo. And uh, ngayon pa lang, papasalamat ako, not just for your response to the call, uh, 
but also for all that you are doing and all that you are going to do. Not just for the city of Pasig, but for our country. Maraming maraming salamat po. God bless you. Please stay safe. Uh, lahat naman ng precautionary measures, lahat ng, ng uh, safety measures, gagawin po namin para sa inyo. Pati yung uh, monetary compensation, hindi na natin kinapag-usapan yan dahil rest assured, we will give you everything that, that is uh, within the power and the capability of the local government. Kaya uh, alam ko, yung, yung mga nag-volunteer naman, uh, or yung mga nagpresenta na gusto tumulong, hindi most of the people that I talk to, Uh, excuse me, again, you call me. Pero uh, most of the people I've talked to, I've talked to some of you, not, not many of you, but I've talked to some of you. And uh, alas hindi nga tinatanong, ano, magkano yung bayad? Kaya, pero siyempre, meron pa rin na uh, monetary compensation. Uh, kung ano yung allowed namin ibigay, ibigay po namin lahat yun. Uh, red rest assured na natin yun. But again, hindi na natin pag-uusapan yun ngayon. We need to all help each other within PASIC, even outside of PASIC. Our public and private healthcare systems are all helping one another. Uh, the more people on board who are trying to help uh, mitigate the negative effects of this virus and to, to defeat this virus and this uh, pandemic once and for all, the faster that we will be able to do this. We don't know if this will be another two weeks, another uh, two months. We don't know how long this is going to be. Pero kapit lang po tayo, nagpalataya tayo sa Diyos, uh, magtulungan po tayo, malalagpasan po natin ito. Maraming maraming salamat po.